I'm not really used to being the center of attention, so the response to me finding the role of film in Brooklyn has been overwhelming, to say the least. I, I got contacted by press from around the world, and, and the video has been viewed over a million times on YouTube. I got hundreds of emails and thousands of messages from strangers from places I've never been, like Bermuda, Australia, Russia, Oklahoma, Japan, and, and quite a few people from just in my neighborhood. Everybody's offering theories on how to find the owners of the film, but so far, no luck. You know, a lot of people thought it might be Lionel Messi, the famous Argentinian soccer player. A woman named Patty thought it was her old college friend. Unfortunately, both ideas turned out to be dead ends. I keep on reviewing all the information that I know. I found the roll of film December 30th near the Audubon Society building. The film is Ilford 400 Speed, black and white. And, and that's a brand that's not particularly common unless you're a professional photographer. It, it looks like they have four cameras, uh, two digital, the camera taking the picture, and then a Leica rangefinder, which is a rare and expensive camera, according to a guy named Neil. Some clues are more helpful than others. Uh, Sydney emailed me, and she assured me that they were from France, because Eastpac backpacks are a French thing. But I grew up in central Pennsylvania, and I'm pretty sure I had an Eastpac backpack. One person had a pretty interesting theory, and that was that their job log structure indicated that they were from Poland. And then someone countered that argument and said that it's a Scandinavian job on structure. Shannon Say says they're from Turkey, because their hairstyle is very Turkey-ish. I've never been to Turkey, but I like to imagine everyone in Turkey walking around with this hairstyle. Yesterday I watched my video for what had to be the hundredth time, and I can't believe I missed this before, but this woman in white with sunglasses and a black backpack, she appears twice. Once on the Brooklyn Bridge at 219, and then again on Coney Island at 129. I'd assumed that she was just some random person who got caught on film by these guys, but maybe she's the owner of the film. I mean, who knows? A majority of the emails that I got were just from people being nice. Like uh, Mandy, who said, if your adventures ever bring you to Seattle, you can sleep on my couch. And uh, John, who said, if you're in Quebec City, let's grab a beer. And uh, a woman named Vicky, who wrote me a prayer. Now I ride around the subways of New York, and I look for the faces of the people in the photos. But I also look around and I wonder how many of these people helped me on my minor adventure by sharing the video with their friends, or sending me a message with random words of kindness. I've been thinking about it a lot, and, and in the end I may never find the owners of the film. But it's pretty cool to know that I'm surrounded by nice strangers, and we're all on this adventure together. <laughs>